You know, one journalist here, Mr. Montgomery, now this is a crazy story because Unknown T has been accused and charged with murder. First of all, I want to say RIP Stephen Jara, who was stabbed in 2018. That was the victim. There was an official report all over on BBC everywhere. It says this, it's after 20 year old Stephen Jara was stabbed at a party in Islington, London in the early hours of New Year's Day 2018. Stephen was London's first stabbing victim last year. Police confirmed to Radio 1 Newsbeat the 19-year-old Unknown T has been charged with violent disorder. Two other men have been charged in relation to the case. Police say they received a call from the London Ambulance Service in the early hours of Monday the 1st of January 2018 to a flat near Old Street Station. The dead man from Belvedere on the border of Kent and London was found with stab injuries and was pronounced dead at the scene. Another 20-year-old man who was found at the scene with stab injuries was taken to hospital and recovered. All three men charged will appear at Magistrate's Court on Thursday. Now, first of all, like I said, I want to say RIP Stephen and my prayers go out to the family um, of him as well because obviously he's died and that's a serious case. Now, in relation to Unknown T, first of all, this is a big disappointment if this is true. I really hope that he didn't have any involvement in the murder and I hope that this is just there. He's being charged because he was there. However, though, if he was involved and if there was some involvement, of course, justice has to be served. I'm not going to come on here and say because I like the fact that Unknown T is a drill rapper and I like the fact that he's made progress with his life. Justice shouldn't be served. However, though, this is a huge disappointment and it just goes to show how real life is for some artists. You might look at some artists and think everything is good um, and you might think everything is perfect. But in this case, looking at it, <laughs> this is real life stuff, man. And this is the stuff that people are running away from and this is what's going on in the real world there's not really much to say on this topic um like i said r.i.p to steven and hopefully i'm saying this in the light of unknown t being able to move forward with his life and him being able to 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 go further i really hope that he's acquitted for this murder and i really hope that he has no involvement in it however though as well it's not going to really look good for drill because now this is going to be linked to drill and there are other few rappers on trial as well i did a story about sj as well right now on trial for murder we don't know anything for that he's been allegedly accused of the murder allegedly being charged and this is just going to all come back to drill after a week of youtube saying they're not going to ban drill videos now we're hearing this it's like the media is going to have a field day people are going to have a field day with this i'm not going to talk too much on this topic also shout out scar city studios he beat me to the chase but this is what it is like it's it's, it's a competition of the news and um i'm back i'm here but yeah we're gonna have to wait for the further developments on this i'm obviously careful on the way i report news stories when it comes to murder and of course when it comes to people being charged for murder because it's a serious thing this ain't a joke this is real life stuff i really hope that the justice can be served and whatever decision needs to be done will be done in a bit